Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishy Planet Classic, the Halloween Event 2021. Now, we are missing some of the key ingredients in order to complete the scary kayaking race that's taking place at St. Croix. So we need to see what we can do about locating them, because we're going to have to go to different maps to try to find things. But since we have to go there, we might as well go ahead and try to finish off some of these other missions. For instance, I do happen to know where pumpkins on uh, the gravestones are located at uh, Quanchkin Lake, yeah, and it also happens that the Black Vampire Fin mission takes place here, so we might as well come, go ahead and come here and see if we can't catch those vampire guards for one of the ingredients that we need, the Black Vampire Fins. So, these are big, big fish, guys, so I've got a seriously large float rod for this purpose. You have to equip the Eagle Claw hook. I don't know if you can have more than one. I've only got one, so that's all I got to work with. Maybe we'll find one more as we are looking around for stuff, but I'm hoping to find some more of those lures and some more of those other items that we need for the, the kayak mission. But let's go ahead and jump in here. Now I know there's some pumpkins over here at Good Old Tobacco, so we're going to check that one first while it's daylight. I think the main thing I'm going to be doing at this point is looking at all the pumpkins in the different locations. Yeah, see there's a gravestone right there. I wish they wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, I have a jawbone. Well, but there's another one here too, and there's a hawk claw. I do need that for the albino yetis. Well, I can use another candle end. And now it's just a matter of finding the other pumpkins. I think there's one out here by the shack that's here. And there's I know there's one on the other side of the lake as well hope there's more gravestones. That's where I'm going to find those lures. Another candle end. It looks like we're still short a noose and something else. I can't remember exactly what it was. But I better remember soon because I do need it. Let's see. Oh, it was a cat hairball or something like that. Let's check over. Well, no. That's... Let's see if there's something over here. Some of them are hidden a little bit. Nope, not that one. Yeah, there's one. I'm getting a lot of the candy. I will need that eventually. That is needed for the bluegill skeletons. So that's not a bad thing to get some of those. I'm not seeing any more pumpkins. But once we get all these sites checked out... Aha! Here's one. Another jawbone. I don't know what we need that for, but at this point... We need to save everything that we get. Alright, we are going to be going back though. I believe, wait a minute, this might be it, this might be it. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is where we need to be anyway, so that will work. Alright, we need to advance time to night. So I have to place the eagle claw hook on this rod, which I've got the Majesty 12 for about 10 inch. This is a 50 pound test, and we're going to need it for these. These, I believe, are the biggest of the gar, period. <laughs> I mean, I think they even come bigger than the alligator gar. So, we are definitely going to need some serious gear for this. Alright, let me see. We've got. Oh, we already have the rotten minnows, yeah. 
That's what the mission calls for. Rotten minnows, eagle claw hook, which I believe is right here. I'm gonna put it for about 24 inches. 20 to 25 inches is good. We'll advance time to the night. Does have to be night, unfortunately. Now, any of these spots should be good that we've caught the alligator guard. Right. See, if I had more eagle claw hooks, I would use my bottom rods too. Wow, that didn't take too long. Yep, we got one. This is the strongest float rod there is in the game. And this guy is giving me a fight. Don't know if I can go. Nah, it's pushing it too much. We just need to be patient. Okay, we've almost got him in. Well. Oh, we almost had him in. He's really making this tough. Yeah, I've got to get 13 of these guys for this mission, though, guys. I think I got him. There he is, guys. Oh, dang nabbit. It's an alligator car, not a vampire car. <laughs> well, I'm not going to complain about getting an alligator car. 1129, 41 pounds. Yeah, we'll keep him. Yeah, unfortunately, they're caught in the same location. Let's see, I've got a. These two that are marked. See the alligator gar right there. I bet you, yep, black vampire gar right there. So they're right on top of each other. And I even caught that one at the place where I caught the vampire gar last time. So it's just it's just a matter of luck. And those smelly rotten minnows, they're both gonna go for. So they're not making this easy. They're definitely making a challenge. They want you to grind and grind and grind. But I believe there's a certain, I don't know, reward you can get if you get a certain number of these. Like a hundred vampire guards and a hundred abono yetis. They give you like some kind of cash reward, in-game cash reward. I don't remember what it is, but... At least they used to. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty... That was pretty cool. What the hell's he doing?
That looked like one. There he is again. Yep, he's there. Holy crap. Well, what the hell are we doing? All right, he's whoa! <laughs> wow, that was cool. Holy crap! They have to take it completely, though. Not just that kind of crap, but like that. <laughs> Holy crap! Did you see him leap out of the water? They have really changed the animation in this game lately. Fish are so much more... I don't know... Animated? <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely a black vampire. Took a little bit longer that time, for some reason. I mean, he came and he swam around it even bit, but I don't know, guys. I'm not so sure this is one. This could be a regular alligator gar, but we're going to see here in a minute. I don't know. He looks like one. Maybe he's just not as big. Yeah, see it's an alligator guard. See, they only come at 30 pounds on common size. The trophy ones, so <laughs> Different story. We might try back here at the other one. I'm starting to think maybe staying at the same spot is jinxing it a little bit. That's the thing, I've got to get 13 of these and I only have 10 rotten minerals. Well, actually not 10. 17. Still, that's only 4 extra. It's not really enough. Whoa! There we go. I'm loving this. This is so, this is awesome to watch. There he goes. Yep, this is definitely another one. They are entertaining. I will say that. He's coming. Well, he was coming. Definitely another one of the vampires, I think. Yep. 
Not as big as the last one, but still nothing to sneeze at. It's 72 pounds. 24.51 cash. And I'm thinking about trying one quick experiment, guys, just to see if you can catch them off the bottom rod. I believe you can. This will just take a second. I'm going to go ahead and get my rod holder here. We're going to back up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my inventory. I'm going to take this out of my inventory. And we're going to get one of these bottom rods here, guys. And this heavy chaser should have no problem handling them. And we're going to, let's see, what do we got on there? 53 pound test. Yeah, we should have no problem with that. It's the biggest thing I've got on there. But let's throw on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try this with the bottom rod just so you guys can see. You can catch it in that manner. Should work just as good, I would suspect. I'm just going to put this in the fourth rod holder there. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, I think I need to get more of these hooks. That would definitely speed up this process. I barely had time to put it down. Damn, this one's a big one too. Yeah, the only thing is you don't get to see them do those leaps into the air like you, you can with a float rod. But after I get done catching this guy, I'm going to try it one more time. There's another one. He's only 69, but hey, it counts. I'm going to see if they bite more readily on these. If they do, we just learned something now, didn't we? So I was going to change over to one of the other rods just to, just to see what we could catch. I was going to put some large cut bait on there. And Maybe a frog on another one? I don't know. Let's see. What we got here hook wise? That is not going to suffice. There we go. That will do it. Because honestly, while I'm here, I really do need to earn my travel expenses and a little bit more to cushion the blow. Cricket larva? No. I don't want to use my. Yeah, frogs. It's too heavy as well. Jeez. Use this carp sinker. That'll work. Now I can toss that one out to there. Shiner. Let's 
See, I'm kind of curious. I want to try this real quick, too. Let's see here. Not, not the bony shed. I want to see if they might go for the slimy crank since it is a Halloween based lure. I know it's a little on the deep side, but it might still work. Aha! Well, don't know yet. Yeah, it seems to be a little faster with the bottom rods, guys. Without a doubt. Have to keep that in mind for the albino uh, yeti ones and the uh, ogre gars. Mm, shoot! We just got an alligator gar that time. Dang gar! I hate wasting the bait on them. There we go. Something bit on it. Kind of curious to see what this is. I'll be damned. Check it out. Ghost Pike. They're here too, guys. Well, the black vampires will not bite on those, but they will. <laughs> Learn something new here. Learn something new. Well, let's see here. Some, some reason they are just not biting now. And it could be that we've got too many lines out there. Or not. There we go. I'm hoping we have another vampire. Yeah, I think we do. They, they're so much darker than the alligator guard. The alligator guard are almost a gray color. These are brown. There we go. Yep, we got one. Another personal record. Holy crap. See, this one's 84 pounds. Oh, man. Yeah. Nice. He's almost too big to fit in the screen. Nice fish. I just keep breaking records here. 
2860. I bet my net's getting pretty full. 430, I have 925, huh? Yep. Well, guys, we're going to keep at it, but I tell you, honestly, I don't think our net's going to be big enough to hold all 13 of them. We're probably going to have to go back to another day. But anyway, guys, this gives you a good first look at this. Let me go ahead and give you that coordinates that I've got here. There's the mark. It's at minus 54.93, 104.93. Point twenty-two. I don't think the time matters, just has to be at night. Now, last year I think I caught them off of dead mice, but obviously we were getting them off of rotten minnows this time, so maybe I'm pretty sure you can catch them on any of those things like the fit you know the pig's eyes or the dead mice. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to sit here and try to earn all my money and get as many as I can in net. And then I'm going to move on probably to Naharan River and see about getting the Ogregars. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, 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 guys. Sorry about this, but I usually end my videos when I end my videos, but I just caught this one. It's the sixth one I've caught, and this guy is 88 pounds. Another new personal record. Check this guy out. That is a monster. 88 pounds, 80 inches plus. And they do bite shiners. I also caught one off a of shiner. It didn't count. In fact, we may have another one here. I don't know. This is a little bit of a surprise. I thought you had to catch them off the Halloween baits only, but they do bite off of other things. So I learned about the ghost pike are here. I just thought they were at the ponds that actually have a well, pike. <laughs> So maybe they will go for floating float rods. I don't know. We have to see, guys. I might do some more experimentation later. But this is a big fish. I mean, it is really large. A lot of strength. Now, if it's a black vampire, it will not count. But I will get some cash for him. The only thing that could be anywhere close to as big would be the flatheads or the blue cats, but I don't know, he's fighting a little too hard for that. Once we get him in here closer, we'll know for sure. It always seems like I see the more interesting things when I stop recording. That's the only reason I came back, because I had to find out. I had to show you guys. I thought 78 was big. Jeez. I think we got us another vampire. And it's a personal record. 90 
two pounds. Wow. 92 pounds, guys. 3148 cash. You saw me reeling in. 92 pounds. Well, he is ugly, too. He is an ugly old cuss. Jeez. That's a big fish. Mm -mm -mm. 82.426 inches, 92.563 pounds. Almost 93 pounds. I'll tell you what. This has been quite a night. Quite a night. I can probably only handle two more of these guys. But yeah, shiners guys, they biting on shiners. So if you just want to catch them, go for it. I don't know what the record is for these guys, so maybe they go over 100 pounds. I'm going to keep trying and see what happens. But if I end up getting something bigger instead of breaking in this time, I think I'll just get a picture and I'll talk about him in my next episode. Anyway, here we go again. But as I always say, straight cast far and have fun. And I will see you later, this time for real. Bye-bye.